TSUTigers.com here with the head coach Larry Joe Enman. Uh, first day of practice, kind of talk about uh, the emotions of getting everybody out here. I, I, like, I like our passion today. I thought we, we made a lot of progress as a team. I felt like we made a lot of progress as individuals. We came out in a passionate way trying to get better. Uh, we encouraged each other. And uh, our execution was not great, which is normal for the first day, but I was proud of what we did today for the first day. So, you know, we got a long way to go, but we had a great effort. And if we keep that effort and that attitude, a lot of progress can be made from that. Okay, obviously a lot of energy. Obviously, it's it's day one. Uh, you know, how do they? How do you keep that same energy going for the next few weeks before you can actually uh, get into a game? Well, you you realize just like everybody else does, that's very difficult to do. It takes a lot of leadership, okay, to remain focused. Okay, and, and the other thing is taking on responsibility for yourself, for your team, and actually putting that in play when you're on the floor. It's hard to do every day, but it's something we call on our players to do. It's something they have to do if they're going to be competitive to win a championship or do anything else in a progressive way in our program. Now, uh, last year you had a big incoming class and uh, very few seniors. This year you've got another big incoming class, but you have a group that has just turned into sophomores. Now you have about four seniors uh, running on your team. Kind of talk about the, the chemistry of that and, and what you expect out of maybe each class. I, I've been really amazed at the chemistry that we now have with young and old, uh, with our young and old players. Uh, our, our kids we brought in last year have readily accepted the new freshman kids coming in. Our seniors have accepted all of those kids. And we're just a very close group right now as individuals. The biggest thing right now is getting our skill level Okay, to match what we think our enthusiasm, our attitude, and our passion was today. If we get that skill level at the level of a UT or some other places, then we're going to be okay. The biggest thing is you have to develop physically, mentally, okay, and you have to execute both defensive things and offensive things to make things happen like it has to happen at the highest level. Our goal is to play at the highest level. Okay, it's not just to play, it's not whatever conference it is or whatever. If you play, I think you play okay, for the big chips. And the big chips is the national playoffs and being national competitive. And that's what we're trying to set our goals on and set our, to be realistic of what we can do, can't do. Does that mean we can do that now? Today, no, it wouldn't be. Okay, but two months down the road, it could be. You don't know. We really got good from the first of the year to the end of the year as far as our progress, progression was last year. If we can make that same kind of progress and that same kind of move that we made as a team, then, then we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. If not, then we're going to be like a lot of other teams that's going to lose. We're just going to lose because we're not mentally or physically where we need to be. I'm going to try as a coach to keep that from happening, of course. But a lot of it is what they take upon their hearts and their minds to do. I'm going to demand it of them as a coach, but more than anything, they should demand it themselves. And then we'll see what happens. So, you know, I'm excited about this group of kids because they do take on that command right now themselves. And they want to be special. They want to be better. And, and I think it's just imperative that we, we continue to work along those lines and, and, and have those goals set and, and try to achieve them. All right. Well, thank you very much, Coach. We wish you the best of luck in, uh, in, uh, in the season. Thank you.